Za, za, za. Hi, I'm Abram Polyakov, and here are some of the best exercises for your chest voice. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell. While you're at it, hit that like button. It would really help us out. Now back to the lesson. The first step is always to simply find your chest voice function. Thankfully, that's pretty easy for most singers since your chest voice is your speaking voice. For that reason, most of the exercises within this lesson are mostly speaking on pitch with minimal sustain. You don't need to worry about it sounding pretty at first. Your goal is just to use your speaking voice on specific pitches. In the very last exercise, we're going to try and keep that vibe while we do a more sung legato line in chest voice. First up, we're speaking the words hey there. I'll play your pitch for the top note on the word hey, and let your pitch drop for the word there, just like you would if you were greeting someone or calling across a room. I'm not concerned about the pitch of the word there, just speak it. It sounds like this. Hey there. One more time. Hey there. All right, let's take it up. Hey there. Hey there. Hey there. Hey there. Hey there. Hey there. And let's take it down. Hey there. Hey there. Hey there. Hey there. Hey there. This next singing exercise may seem a little ridiculous, but it's also very helpful for the singer who is trying too hard to sing pretty and is having trouble engaging their chest voice more naturally. It sounds like this. Blah, blah, blah. One more time. Blah, blah, blah. Although it's not quite speaking, it has a simple nonchalant feeling to it, as if you're being somewhat condescending to someone and saying, yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. Try it with me. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's take it up now. Blah, blah, blah. Like you're talking. Blah, blah, blah. 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 For this last exercise, try to use the Z sound to jumpstart your support and get a nice full sound at the top. The exercise sounds like this. Za, za, za. Remember to keep it simple and somewhat speech-like, even though it's the most sung exercise so far. Let's try it again. Za, za, za. Let's take it up. Chest voice on its own is somewhat limiting, but such a necessary component to our voice, especially for the storytelling and the narrative-based singing. It helps us find our power and stability, but the reality is our chest voice ultimately lacks the flexibility, depth, and dynamic variation that singing with head voice provides us with. 
If you feel confident with this, then check out our videos about head voice or falsetto. I'll see you next time. What other tips would you like to see here on this channel? Leave a comment and let me know. And be sure to check out 30daysinger.com for more in-depth step-by-step lessons.